going on guys? Gunny here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my RC setup. What I have, what cars I have, what my charger and tools are. Now, um, if you guys want to see RC videos, this is my first one. Um, I'll do an RC series, just leave a comment below. Um, just tell me if you guys want to see RC videos. Alright. Let's get into the video. All right, so starting off here, we have my Traxxas Rustler. This is about from 2005. Um, I have um, put tires and lots of upgrades on it. I'll show you, I got these Pro-Line body pins. They've got this custom tab. And the Rustler just has three of them. I've made this little custom washer out of an Xbox gift card. Now if we pull off the body shell, I have some little washers that I made, and then this is hot glue to keep it from breaking. And under the body shell here, if we start at the front end, um, I recently took it out at a friend's house, and his dog got a hold of it, and well, yeah, it broke. This is supposed to be sitting like that, and it should look like that. And instead, it looks like that. But on the front end, I got the RPM Traxxas front bumper for the uh, Rustler Stampede and Slash. I have aluminum shocks, both front shocks, RPM hub carriers with bearings, speed treads, wheels with, or speed tread tires with six spoke wheels. Imitation beadlock. These are glue. And if we come to the side, I'll spin it to this side. In there for the servo, I got a high tech uh, HS485 HB. And oh, I have an issue where these pins back out every time I drive it. And you might be wondering. Wait a second, this isn't stock Rustler gear. I have a VXL3S set up in there. 300 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal. Got the VXL motor right there. I have a custom painted uh, spur pinion cover and waterproof receiver box with a TQI that can have the Traxxas link. Um, I named this thing the VXL5 because it used to be a, an XL5. Now on the back I got Proline, um, oh crap, what are these called? Badlands tires on Desperado wheels. I have this switch, which you might, guys might be wondering what it is. I have right here a uh, plug which goes to I have a little light setup it's got front and rear tail lights that's actually going in this body right here it's a J Concepts uh, Chevy Silverado 1500 body and that's going to be what my rustler is eventually I'm going to put some of these the Desperado with the Badlands on the front. I need to do uh, RPM hub carriers in the front. Oh, I have the uh, Traxxas wheelie bar for the Rustler and Stampede. And I'll just, you just unpaw, unclip it here and here. And then it can be adjusted any length. So high, this is the highest setting. And then I'll show you this right here. If you put this these little loops, Right there are the lowest setting. I forgot to mention I also have the Traxxas uh, steel drive shafts, stock rear shocks. I'm going to upgrade those because, well, they're trash. And okay, that's it for my Rustler. This is just a stock body, it's an old body, so it's pretty trashed. Alright, let's move on to my other truck. Alright, so this is my other truck. It is a 
Traxxas 1 16th scale slash. Now, I have put a GoPro mount on it. I have these little body washes that I bought or that I made. Uh, just got stock body pins. Pull these guys out for you. Show you under the body. I'm running stock uh, electronics, stock, pretty much stock everything. The only upgrade I have is I have a dual battery Y harness. So I have two Traxxas 7.2 volt, 1200 milliamp hour power cells, the nickel model. Stock servo, which I need to upgrade because it strips all the time. There's that guy. And I have stock wheels. But over here, I do have some drift wheels that I need to take back to the hobby shop because they broke. Uh, the center of one of them. Oh, jeez. The center of one of them is cracked, I think. I think it is that one. Barely even got to use them. But there's nothing real special about this guy. I mean, I... Uh, what is that stuff called? Put some clear flex seal on the bottom you can see me recording right there um oh and i have this it's that sugru stuff right there right there right there and i have some i used to have some right there and there i also have a little bit in the corners of that those are just some of the common crack points for this guy when it flips but that's pretty much it for the mini slash uh, I'll move on to my charger and tools and stuff right now. Alright, so here is my charging area slash storage station. The bottom shelf is for my two trucks, and the top shelf is my battery, uh, my charging station. I have another battery for the rustler here. This is kind of a trash battery. It doesn't work that well. Um, here is my charger. Let me unplug the back. It is a dynamite uh, horizon hobbies uh, dynamite profit sport plus you can it's a multi chemistry you can do nickel metal or lipo and lipo fast you can do up to a six cell lipo with f at five amp and it's got the ac or dcs which means right here you plug it into the wall which is this cord it's plugged in over there or you plug in this cord, which goes to a car, like a car battery. Then you have your on-off switch here, a little cooling fan, which helps so much. And then I have this harness that is for Traxxas batteries. And that just plugs simply in. Plug it in. Just like that. And then it plugs in in the back. I'll show you. Plugs in right there. It's kind of a difficult little thing to get in there. Alright, there we go. Get that plugged in. Now, I have this other harness, which doesn't work. That's why I have, that's why I'm using this harness. Uh, I got some spare battery pins, or battery pins, body pins right there. Here's the cord for it. I just have it coiled up. I have two other batteries for my mini slash. Again, they're just nickel metals. And then I have this. This guy. If I turn it on. Boop. I have shelf lighting. So I can sit like that. Now I have my video lighting and my normal light. Which I'll show you what my room looks like in a different video. I'll do a video of my film setup but I just have some of these I guess uh, I don't know what you call them decorative LEDs that I use and I got this which is a four plug plug strip which goes down to a extension cord which runs all the way along under there back behind here Sorry for the horrible mess. Um, terrible. Just had friends over. Looks terrible. 
Now this is where I take, or what I put my stuff in to take it places. Like I put my remotes, I'll put batteries, I'll put the charger. Um, it's got this little guy, which is for tools or whatever. I can put my toolkit in here. But it also, it's from Harbor Freight. It's got these really cool locking latches. So there's that. And then, that's pretty much it for my charging station. Um, I'll move on to my tools right now. Alright, so for my RC tools, I have a Dynamite RC Hobby Starter Kit. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but that's pretty much what the my local hobby shop uh, calls it. It's hard to unzip with one hand. Alright, so I keep a spare... 83 tooth uh, spur gear for my wrestler in here, the stock hex wrench, and then what it has is the four, five, five and a half, seven, and then eight millimeter uh, hex, well, nut drivers. It's got a number zero Phillips, a flathead, number one flathead, or Phillips, and flathead. For here, it's got a Number two Phillips and flathead. It's got eight millimeter turnbuckle tool and a five millimeter turnbuckle tool, or whatever you want to call them, an end wrench. And then we got these three uh, Allen key. This is the smallest, second, third, and then this end there is fourth, fifth, and sixth biggest. I also have in here some nice tweezers and then here is the screwdriver handle it comes with great investment for anybody in the hobby even if you're serious been in the hobby for a while this can be a great i just throw this in with my rc it can even fit under the body of my rustler so nice and compact that just folds in half and then zips and then i got some brand new uh some nice pliers and then here is the toolbox. I'll back up so you can get a better view. And then in here I have Traxxas bearing grease. I have a slipper clutch, large spring, and large nut. I have a little washer here. Um, I got an old slipper shaft for the old rustler transmission. Slipper plate. Some extra 16 scale body pins. These are all the Phillips hardware that came off of that wrestler when I converted it to Hex or Allen. Sorry if that was really loud. And here I have all the old, here let me turn this the light so it's not in there, in your, oh nope, it's going to be in there no matter what. Okay, so in here are the uh, old hub care, or hubs, front and rear. Then in here is the, I had to buy new steering arms, a uh, spare wheel hex, uh, some pins, a spacer, a spare drive shaft end. This guy, oh, this by the way, is for the mini slash, this guy. Uh, some mini slash, uh, oh goodness gears and some more pins or rubber band. I got a chuckle velcro and then a Traxxas battery connector. And if we open it up, here we have some more extras. I have the lipo adapter for my charger, a old rustler slipper, well not slipper, gear assembly. A VXL cooling fan, palm ratchet, a drive shaft, a steering part, uh, some Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, a uh, pair of pliers, or a multi tool, another pair of pliers, the other part of the drive shaft, some old tweezers. Oh boy! Uh, another multi tool, another pair of pliers. Uh, and here I have, come on, focus. These are for the slipper, the new slipper. Uh, drive shaft, um, a 
fastener kit, electrical tape, ten or a seven millimeter socket, uh, scotch or 3M. What do you call this? Double sided tape. And in here, I have a bunch of picks, some tiny screwdrivers, and that's about it for the tools. Uh, I also have this WD-40 no mess pen, but that's about it for the tools. Uh, I've been into the hobby for almost six months now, and this is what I've collected. Um, I would consider myself serious in the hobby. Uh, I do plan on getting another couple RCs in the future. If you guys want to see more RC videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, and yeah, that's about it. So, if you guys enjoyed seeing my setup, my tools, and what my cars are, or my trucks, whatever you want to call them, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, what do you guys think? Uh, but, anyway guys... This has been Gunny, signing off. A oh, peace.